So the most important part of your day will come when you get up in the morning and you start to prepare yourself for the day. It is very easy, especially if you have not calmed yourself to go to uh, calmed yourself down before you go to sleep, it's very easy to get up and be frenetic and unfocused and unbalanced because the night has the same pattern. Immediately after sunset, kappa becomes predominant. The light has gone away, things are now getting cooler and they're contracting and you're moving in on yourself and your earth and water are becoming more predominant inside you. Kappa becomes more predominant and then as you adjust to the night, pitta becomes more predominant. And approximately 11 p.m., pitta really starts to become seriously predominant. And if you are still awake at 12 p.m., you will become hungry because pitta is predominant at that time. This is why it is so important to go to bed before 11 p.m., preferably even earlier if you're going to get up before dawn, but certainly before 11 p.m., because if you don't, your hormones, the pattern of your hormones is going to change. You will get hotter than you need to be. You should be asleep during that time so that your body, your, the physiological processes that need to run during the night to do essential maintenance on your body so that they can take advantage of that extra uh, agni, that extra fire that's happening during that pit, the time of night. If you are awake during that time, don't be surprised. If you feel hotter, it's not uncommon for patients of peptic ulcer to have pain about the middle of the night because of this physiological experience of pitta being stronger at that time. And then at the, in the waning part of the night, after two or certainly after three, that's the time when vata is going to become predominant. And that's the time that you will have vivid dreams. And that's the time that your sleep may be more disturbed. And this is why it is particularly good to take advantage of this fact and get up during that period when vata is going to be activated anyway. Get up during that period when you're not going to be sleeping as well as you should. It's much better if you go to sleep during the kappa time of night because, after all, kappa and sleep and tamas are all connected together. So you're taking advantage of that natural movement of the cycle of the day and you're using it to your advantage. So preferably you go to sleep early on. I personally like to go to sleep at 8 or 8.30 or 9 and get up around 4. So I have some time in the morning that I can do what I like to do to prepare myself for the day. Um, some, some, depending on, I travel a lot, so depending on the day, sometimes I will get up and immediately walk out the door and go for a walk of 45 minutes or an hour. Because that agrees with my system, because I move around a lot, because I like to walk. Sometimes I will get up and sit for 30 or 40 minutes and I will meditate and I will uh, make sure that the prana in my body is nicely aligned. Whichever I do first, I will certainly do the other afterwards. And I will also do some exercise for circulating prana. Most of the time yoga, sometimes qigong or something similar. But for getting the prana to circulate around in the system so that I can encourage it to be as balanced as it can be for the rest of the day. So in my personal opinion, and has been testified by many authorities, it is very useful to get up and meditate and to exercise and to do some sort of yoga or prana circulation first thing in the morning to set the right tone for the day. If you cannot find time to do that in the morning, do them any other time during the day. They need to be done on a daily basis. Preferably though, please do them in the morning. Because once you have started to do that, then you were working with the first working with the vata to use that extra uh, uh, energy that's happening at that time. And then hopefully that momentum is not too fast so that you can move into the cup of part of the day, but with a little bit of momentum so that you will be able to move forward and continue in the direction of being um, active and doing whatever it is you need to do during the day. The time that you want to be as focused as possible and as active as possible in things that require your attention 
is between roughly 10 and 2. This is very rough, but the middle of the day. That's what Pitta is good for. Pitta is good about understanding things, engineering things, applying things, knowing what, how to take this and change it to that. It turns out that human beings only have a limited amount of ability to make decisions, real meaningful decisions during a day. It's been estimated that as little as one hour in total. So, and you want to try to make these decisions at a time when you're going to be most efficient at making the decisions. And that is approximately in the middle of the day. Uh, obviously, that's also the time that you want to have the main meal of the day because that's when pitta is predominant. And that pitta is going to digest that food. After you've eaten, there's going to be a certain amount of difficulty in focusing because the blood in your body has gone down to your digestive tract. There's going to be less of it for your brain. In addition, in the afternoon, vata is predominant. And vata is not the sort of thing that promotes concentration. So, the afternoon is the perfect time to do routine things, things that you already know, that you don't have to try to be teaching yourself or understanding or making decisions about or learning, things that you already know how to do that you can do almost as second nature, you can do almost on autopilot, and it's a good time to do it not only because you don't require that extra uh, discerning energy that, that, that has waned a little bit, but also because doing routine things, any kind of routine that is balanced and, and well paced is going to help keep vata from going out of control. So you're trying to take advantage of the, the movement of the doshas during the day and you're trying to also not let those doshas in your organism become needlessly disturbed. 